So, as 3D artists, having a creative and streamlined workflow is always considered as paramount, and in most cases, having an app where all necessary features needed to create exist in not only reduces mouse travel times across DCC apps, but also gives artists more time to create rather than being technical. And 3D Code 2024 takes a lot of these boxes, as 3D Code 2024 now ships with a set of interesting tools and features, as the folks at Pilgrim now expands on this powerhouse that lets artists sculpt, retopple, model, bake, texture paint and render professionally. So whether you're a beginner or a seasoned artist, you can now rely on 3D codes to create astonishing and beautiful 3D arts. And with 3D Code 2024, artists can now do even more, as it now ships with an app link for Blender. Artists can now easily ship their final creation to Blender with a single click. This would simply require an add-on installation which you can download totally for free and install in Blender. And once that is ready, artists can open up any model piece of choice right inside of 3D Code, go over to File and send to Blender. This will pop up a simple specification dialog box which artists can select what they would love to send off. And once you're ready with that, models can easily be sent off to Blender where additional shading, lighting and rendering can take place. This add-on works in both ways as artists can also send 3D updates from Blender over to 3D Code with a single click and this makes working across these two tools super intuitive so instead of exporting and importing this now cuts out that round trip that exists across these two tools more so here's some game changing features that are now available with 3d code and most of these are possible with the brand new app link feature for blender so Contrary to previous iteration of 3D code, where dense meshes when imported into Blender slows down Ultra Tool's performance, dense meshes can now be sent directly from the sculpt room without UVs into Blender. And if you've got high dense meshes which already has paint colors or materials without UVs, this is no problem at all, as 3D code can now export the meshes and create automatic UV maps and bake the textures to the model. And of course, if you do have models that are extremely dense, 3D Code now bakes down these models to 100k polygonal mesh, with UVs and textures all intact. And this is currently the only tool across the CG community that offers this feature and automates the entire process for you. Alongside this, Blender is the only tool that allows the importing of factors from 3D Code, all thanks to the new implementation by the folks at Pilgrim as factors are basically an easy and powerful way to achieve surface detailing of practically any level by painting textures on the surface and not color. Interestingly, each vertex on every layer that is painted has only one texture and this is similar to Ptex, as this texturing process requires no UV creation or assignment whatsoever. So textures can be extremely high at any view level as this is solely dependent on the artist and how detailed they want to make their textures look. And speaking about textures, 3D Code now has a well-improved and advanced hand painting texture feature, allowing artists to create stylized texture painting and crafting beautiful art pieces. The amazing advanced hand painting also supports multi-layering, multi-layer materials and masks for both hand paint textures and PBR texturing, making it an ideal for anyone who is either into hand painting or would like to create complex textures. 3D Code 2024 now comes with a well-improved voxel paint, as it allows artists to seamlessly paint inside of a voxel volume. This doesn't really exist in any other tool, but 3D Code seems to offer this new feature, and the painting can either be simple color painting or PBR material painting, and with artists now being able to sculpt multi-million dense models inside of 3D Code, both voxel and surface sculpting now presents users with a more advanced set of brush engines, making sculpting high-density soft lightweight and easy. This allows Alongside the advanced painting feature and the well improved voxel painting feature now makes working with voxels and presenting them super easy. And just like we have for the hand painting, 3D Code Period Texturing has one of the best set of tools and features that artists would need when making their period texturing in any 3D app, as this allows for multi-level painting from multi-materials and texture layering, surface and texture calculation, interesting set of tweaks and real-time rendering, from basic to advanced all the way to interesting smart materials, making PBR texture painting right inside of 3D Code a delight. Additionally, the folks at Pilgrim offers a free PBR library where artists can download a good number of materials and use them in their project. 
Trinical 2024 also ships with a cool new feature that deals with your texture normals, as normals can now be converted into meshes. And how this works is pretty simple. Once a normal gets applied onto any surface, instead of it to just simply be a viewport manipulation of what this looks like, users can easily use the paint mesh to sculpt bake feature which now comes with 3 code 2024 and bake the textures to mesh vertices as you can now easily achieve high dense models by simply painting and baking your normal maps. In the same vein, another interesting feature for 3D Code 2024 has to do with the VDMs, as artists can now pick up and paste VDMs on any surface of choice. While most 3D tools are still trying to get into VDMs and also how to work with this, 3D Code allows you to easily create copy sculpt or meshes with displacement from other surfaces, which can be transferred, placed or pasted onto other surfaces for usability, and this is a welcomed feature. And when it comes to retopology, 3D code has always come on top when mesh optimization such as retopology comes up in a conversation, as it has one of the best retopology set of tools in the industry for making quick, clean and usable retopologies for dense meshes, with options of auto retopo, manual retopo and smart retopo with curves, offering artists a menu of possibilities and routes that best fits their needs when it comes to retopology. 3D Code also has this beautiful advanced live boolean operation, and the 2024 version has been super optimized to handle multi-million mesh operation as it cuts through high dense meshes and hard surface meshes like cheesecake, allowing creators to make those interesting crafts and cutouts super easy. And for programmers or technical artists looking for quick and easy ways to create interesting effects or creations, the Python scripting tool that now exists with 3D Code allows for a more complex set of operations like fracturing, and this can also be super useful to optimize various processes and allow for quick creation of some more complex looking models. And for masking, in 3D Code 2024, paint layer masking and clipping masking are also introduced. These and more features are now available in 3D Code, and 3D Code 2024 is indeed a powerhouse for artists looking for a tool that they can use to create impressive artworks with high quality and advanced set of tools with integration with multiple DCC tools including Blender, as it makes it more suitable for both indie and professional artists to work with. And for those who care about documentation, 3D Code 2024 is now available to over 30 different languages catering to a wider audience with its detailed guides, walkthroughs and documentation. And for those who would like to only experience the texturing side of 3D Code, 3D Code Texturer is a trimmed down version of 3D Code Texturing which is particularly available for texture painting and rendering. So if you like to try this or probably you like to try 3D Code itself then you can simply go over to the link in the description and check this out. So this is it. For those who like to work with these, you would like to see some interesting stuff that's been created with 3D Code. Links to this is also going to be in the description, so do well to check it out. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And if you're new here or you'd like to keep up with some of these updates, simply go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the next video. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.